Today, I'm going to be going through the top 10 fastest cars in car dealership tycoon. Now, just a quick notice, this doesn't include Game Pass cars and it doesn't include limited cars either. These are cars which you can simply buy with in-game money anytime, anywhere. So make sure you stick to the end and I'm going to be doing a giveaway very soon in my Discord server for $25 million of in-game cash. So make sure you join the Discord server in the description and that's kind of all I have to say. Like and subscribe, I guess. We're getting closer and closer to 50k. Also, um, 100,000 subscribers. I want to buy the end of the year uh thank you very much ladies and gentlemen welcome back to car dealership tycoon today i am going to be going over the top 10 fastest cars in car dealership tycoon well, why is it turning night all i wanted to do was record a video oh damn looks like we got the real foxy all right so you're probably thinking right now right the shop probably filters it by top speed you'd be wrong it does filter it by top speed however there are a couple mistakes in its uh in its uh domain now just for clarification this list is not going to include the vip car the very and it's not going to include any game pass cars and it's not going to include any limiters either because they're going to be gone very soon and game pass cars are kind of pay to win so these are cars which you can only buy with in-game money that anyone can get there was like a yellow wall for this like part thing which was here and i was going to talk about it but it's gone <laughs> okay so let's not waste any time let's kick off with number 10 so top 10 fastest cars number 10 is the ferrari which is now called corsaro for some reason god knows what a corsaro is the corsaro la corsaro what did he say that made no sense but this thing is number 10 the la ferrari has a speed of 216 handling of 8.2 drivetrain is rear wheel drive reward is 70 and per mile is 3058 it's 2.75 million so these cars aren't going to be incredibly cheap if you want me to do like a budget video then do let me know in the comments on this car a race upgrade is 1.1 million it comes with the sport upgrade and turbos a race turbo is 660,000. so let's take this thing out see what we can do as you can see i've sort of changed up the color of this thing when you get it i'm pretty sure this will be red but it accelerates pretty quickly if i'm being honest you can also kind of drift with it as well which is really insane i'm pretty sure most of the cars in this list you can drift pretty well with but this is the la ferrari what was his top speed again 216 yeah, there we go can i hit it on this hill do you reckon no yep no it's not happening oh my god <laughs> What the hell just happened? Hadir Zamaru123, my go. But anyways, your number 10 car is going to be the LaFerrari. Now, V12 Ferrari looks very nice and sounds very nice as well. But for number 9, we're going to have to... We're gonna have to conk out on the sound part of it. Because number 9, we have the Koenigsegg Regera, which is this thing. There's going to be a lot of Koenigseggs... That guy just went flying. There's going to be a lot of Koenigseggs, a lot of Bugattis on this list because they're sort of like the fastest cars in the game. But number nine, we have a Koenigsegg Regera. The speed is 218. Here are all its stats. It's two and a half million. A race upgrade is 1.13 million. And then a race turbo is 678,000. Also comes with a sport upgrade as standard. So let's take this thing out. Now this car in terms of looks is a 10 out of 10. And you may notice in the bottom, it's only got one gear. Oh yeah, well, this thing has no gearbox, which is what makes it ex accelerate pretty quickly. Did you see that Porsche? So now this list is only based on top speed. However, each car does drive differently and feels differently too. For example, with this Regera, there's a glitch you can do from a standstill, which makes you go pretty fast. I think you have to do a burnout and then release it and then get to that and then handbrake, that handbrake, that handbrake. So you can kind of see this car does accelerate very quickly if you do that glitch. Now, I haven't mastered that glitch. I don't actually know how to do it, but let me know in the comments if you can do that glitch and let me know uh, if or not it has been patched. I don't think it has been patched because i've just done it right there this car can drift pretty cool as well but this car's pretty cool it does accelerate very quickly because it's got one gear it doesn't need to upshift and it accelerates to top speed pretty quickly because when it gets near top speed it starts to sort of conk out and then you eventually get there and then your ears bleed because this car is so loud now if you notice from the shop the regera actually comes before the la ferrari it's actually cheaper i think it's filtered by per mile and not by top speed Oops. So next up, we have this thing, the Lotus Avaya. It goes 221, handling of 8.8. .8. Here are all its stats. It's 3.25 million. So we've really cooked up quite a bit of cash here. And you can't put turbos on it. And you're probably wondering why that is. This car... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's not even the car, bro. Here we go. So again, race upgrade is 1.17. You can't put turbos on it. And you probably would have noticed I've gone completely silent. The music's gone completely silent because this thing is electric. <laughs> However, 
It's got some really weird sound. It does accelerate pretty quickly for this price. It accelerates much quicker than its counterparts, its competitors, and brakes amazingly as well. So I think this would be pretty good on the circuit track. So I think if you've got a budget around this, I think this Lotus might be a good bet. But make sure you stick to the end to find out what the other cars are all about. What is that? Go away. This car doesn't have an interior, which is uh, quite disappointing. But in terms of performance, it doesn't really matter. Can this thing drift? Yes, it can. I just hit a wall because I'm bad. Alright, so we're going to be skipping over the Veyron Super Sport because that is a VIP car. It's not actually a car you can get with in-game money. It's a pay-to-win car, as is the Veyron, which I skipped on as well. But realistically, if I was to include these cars, this car, this the normal Veyron would be in line with the Day Tomorrow, so, and the Siron Super Sport would be in line with, what, 267? It would actually be the fastest car. The Veyron Super Sport would actually be the fastest car if I was including the VIP cars. If I was including the Game Pass cars, then obviously... The absolute is going to be the fastest. Next up is this, and then this. The limited cars vary because you know they're they're, they're going to they're, they're all going to be gone very soon. So I'll skip over those. But this is the Aston Martin Vulcan. This is the next one on the list. What is going on there, bro? It's snowing. This guy is literally snowing. What are you doing, mate? So this car is 3.7 million. So the price gaps between all of these cars are actually quite high. But that is kind of because you can get money quite easily with all these cars because they got such high top speeds. So don't be scared by the price gaps because realistically, it's not that big of a gap. But this one goes 224. It's handling 8.5. Here all its stats, 3.75 million. A race upgrade is 1.2 million. It comes with a sport upgrade. And a race turbo is 700 grand. I haven't- I didn't take it out, did I? <laughs> I did that last time. This thing looks insane. It's got side exhaust pipes. If I just love a few flames. There you go. You can see the flames down there. Look at the rear design on this car. I love the look of this car. It's got a very long bonnet. This thing is more of like a circuit car. It's not really a high top speed car, but it's got amazing handling. It just sticks to the road. It doesn't fling anywhere. Look- look at how perfectly I can stay in this lane. And- uh, okay, well... <laughs> if I'm going 300 miles an hour into a corner... I'm gonna crash. But this is more of a track car. If you're willing to do the circuit race, the oval race, maybe the off-road race even, I'd go with this car or the Lotus. I'd say I prefer the Lotus in that it's much easier to, like, get to top speed in the Lotus. This car, it's got a gearbox. It takes time to upshift and downshift. In terms of handling, I think this uh, Aston Martin is actually better than the Lotus. So, like, look at this. Oh, that was close right there. Next up on the list is this little insect looking car. This is the Data Marso, I think it's called like P72. It's 4.25 million, so it's quite expensive, this car. It comes with the sport upgrade. A race upgrade is 1.3 million. A race turbo is 700,000. So let's take this thing out, see what it can do. This thing is right. This thing is right hand drive. <laughs> It looks like a mosquito. It is a literal mosquito car. There is nothing more mosquito than this car right here. It sounds very, um, yawny. This guy really blends in with the car, don't you think? Oh, I've, I've hit something. What have I hit? Oh, I've hit a wall. Acceleration is not amazing. This car is pretty slow acceleration, but handling is actually, eh. Next up is this, the uh, McLaren Speedtail. This thing goes 230, handling of 8.3. Here all its stats is 4.5 million. So it's not a great gap between the Data Marso and this. It comes with a sport upgrade. Race upgrade is 1.3. Race turbo is 800 grand. And it's actually got three seats. You can see this guy's sitting next to me here. Uh, if this guy, what? Oh, he's... <laughs> He's kind of stuck. So in terms of handling, I feel like this car is sort of the same as the Aston. It doesn't feel amazing because the car is so long. It does take a while for the wheels to adjust, but it accelerates pretty quickly. I think it's at high speed. I feel like the handling drops a little bit. So I don't think this car is amazing in terms of racing. Remember, if you want to be able to grind money, you want to be able to grind the highway or the oval race, you need a high top speed car. And you need a car that can accelerate quite quickly. The reason why you need a car that can accelerate quickly is because the majority of cars that don't accelerate quickly don't end up getting to top speed on the highway as much. Now, one of you commented on my How to Get Rich in CDT video that going the other way around the highway actually helps because you reach top speed more towards the desert, which seems like a feasible idea. If one of you guys could test that, that would be amazing. Next up, we have the basic... Bugatti Chiron. This thing has a pretty big price gap. This thing is five million dollars. Speed is 235, handling is nine, drivetrain is all-wheel drive, here it's rewards. Comes with a sport upgrade, race upgrade is 1.4, race turbo is 845. So we've got active error at the back, we've got an active air brake, and I believe if I come to a stop, does it go away? 
No. Oh, hang on. No, if I get out of the car, look, the wing goes down. If I get in, ooh, it comes back up. We do not care. That's pretty sick. So this thing in terms of acceleration is really good. It's better than the Aston. I feel like it's more equivalent with the Lotus, but I feel like I feel like this accelerates a bit faster than the Lotus. Oh, why is everyone there? Should we just go see what they're up to? Oh, they're, they're going to come follow me now, aren't they? Because they're all fans of me, isn't it? <laughs> if you... They think that's me. They think that. They think that is me. Are you joking, bruv? What is this? I am fake. He is real. No, don't get hyped. You are me. Focus. Acting. Surprisingly enough, this thing can sort of drift. Ow, I hit a wall. But that is the Bugatti Chiron. It's very cool. It accelerates very fast. Handling isn't amazing, but this is a top speed car. So if you're doing so if you're doing highway grinding and you have that amount of money, I'd recommend this car because it's got a pretty high top speed. That's the track focused push, but He's actually, he's actually banged it with the parking. Did you see how he got out? And it just parked perfectly. Look at the parking on this. This guy is a G. Look at him. Oh my god. I've just been bulldozed. Hello, my f hello, my friend. Hello, hello. Why is everyone coming here? I'm not the real Jeff. He's the real Jeff. Okay, oh, stop. I'm trying to record a video, bro. Okay, so after the Chiron is a really big step. So 235, this thing was 248. This is a Bugatti Devo. Two and a half million gap. Foxy, if you're watching this, please add something in between. Because two and a half million gap between a car is outrageous, considering the fact that this thing's only 7 million. So this thing is a Bugatti Devo. It goes 248. Handling is 9.2. Comes with a sport upgrade. Race upgrade is 2 million. Race turbo is 1.1. Now this thing has really good handling and a really good top speed. So this is sort of like, I'm getting the impression that this is sort of like a perfect blend. <laughs> Bro, this bulldozer has no chill. <laughs> Alright, so acceleration's really good. What is this guy doing, bro? How are you so fast? What is going on? This okay, is he a hacker? I'm pretty sure he's a hacker. Yeah, alright, <laughs> alright. And then um, I'm trying to record and I'm getting bulldozed. He's literally bulldozing everyone. I got collisions off. Watch this. Watch I got collisions off. Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> what a guy. Okay, so this fastest car in the no no, no. <laughs> He's coming. He's, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. No, no, leave me alone, please, please, please. Okay, I think I lost him. No! <laughs> leave me alone. That is so scary. Leave me alone, please. Alright, so this bully. Bully? This Devo handles very well. It's got a high top speed and accelerates pretty quickly as well. No, 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 Alright, next car is a Rimac Nevera. Now, <laughs> what's going on with my suspension? So, the last car, the Devo, was 7.5. This is 8.25. It's not as big as a gap, but it is still a pretty big gap. This goes 258. Handling is 9.3. I need to fix this suspension before I get cancelled. Alright, let's take this thing out. This thing is also electric. I'm expecting pretty good acceleration here. Acceleration is pretty good, yes. And then top speed, as we know, is 250... No, 230s. I've already forgot it. This has got an interior. Handles amazingly. So I think this is sort of like the big daddy in terms of, like, what is the best car to buy. Because it's got a high top speed and it's also got really good handling as well. So this is the big daddy right here. But those are the top 10 fastest cars. What is going on inside my car is a better question. Okay, lads, thank you all very much for watching. I want to end this video before I get absolutely pummeled by that tow truck again. Again. Thank you all very much for watching and um, like and subscribe. We're nearing close, close to 50k. Thank you very much. Bye.